I said, now we're seeing that uh, we can get uh, these kind of I, I, this kind of activity on walls that do not have tidal heating. Then we'll we'll have to go back and look at those. I can add to that. You know, part of the reason you're not hearing us say Pluto looks like this world or that world is because Pluto has so much diversity. We're seeing so many different features. Like Will said, there's lots of different processes going on here. And so we'll probably end up uh, pulling it apart and say this part resembles that on this world, um, but there's nothing like it. Okay, so we're going to take two quick questions, and then unfortunately I'm going to have to uh, end. Uh, if you have questions, we'll see if we can follow those up at a later time. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, Tarek Malik with uh, Space.com, and I think this question may be for Alan uh, or whoever you want to uh, delegate to. But you've shown us uh, a first look at uh, Hydra activity on Sharon Ice Mountains, 11,000 feet tall on Pluto. Um, and I'm just wondering today in the mission operations room how that feels to see it come down, to open it and know that yesterday you had one photo. Now you have something 10 times better, and tomorrow it's going to get even better. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of depression in the science team. They don't, they don't understand anything. Um, they, people were thinking of just catching flights. Um, no, honestly, it's, it's uh, you know, I said a few days before most of the approaches, there were a lot of smiles. We could, we could feel the momentum, and we're finally getting at this stage where we can see geology and the topography on the surface. Um, but now, um, it, you know, I think I could characterize the four individual rooms where people are at work as um, something close to deadly. 